Okay, so for this question, we're looking at uh, another dilution, and um, we're going to be calculating some ion concentrations. This time, however, we're going to be dealing with multiple solutions. So in the question, we have 15 mils of sodium sulfate and 35.6 milliliters of cal potassium chloride and um, the concentrations for these solutions are 0 0.309 and 0 0.2 molar respectively and so they're mixed and we're told to determine the concentration of sodium ion sulfate ion and chloride ion uh, so the first step what I like to do is always I like to write down all the information I've given so I can say C of solution 1 equals 0 0.309 moles per liter and the volume of solution 1 is 0 0.0150 zero liters. Also we know of solution two the concentration is zero point two zero zero moles per liter and we have a volume of zero point zero three five six liters. Okay so since none of the ions are in both solutions, uh, sodium is not in this one here, sulfate's not here, potassium's not here, chloride's not here. We can treat this question as if it was three separate dilutions. And so the first step is to write out the dissociation equations for each each solution that we're given, and uh, to determine the number of moles of each ion of interest in that solution. So. Let's go ahead and start. So let's write down first the dissociation for sodium sulfate. So we have Na2SO4 solution becomes sodium ions plus sulfate ions. Uh, to balance it, we're going to need to add a two here and uh, for this guy here KCl solution becomes potassium potassium ion and chloride ion now we don't have to worry about the potassium because it's not of interest up here uh, it's not part of the question so don't have to worry about that, we'll just leave it the way it is. And the next step is to find the number of moles of the ones we are looking for, so sodium, sulfate, and chloride, individually in their respective solutions. And to do that, we just need to go ahead and use our formula C equals N over V. Why don't we go ahead and do that? So I'll leave it like that so you can see the solution concentrations. And so, we can say that this is three different dilutions uh, because of the reason I said that their ions are not present in both solutions. And so we can go ahead and write this as one for sodium, one for sulfate, and one for chloride. And so here what we're going to be using is the formula C equals N over V. So we're going to rearrange this for moles and we're going to get N equals C times V. And now for sodium, we know the concentration is 0 0.309 molar 
and the volume is 0 0.015. Liters, so that gives us uh, a moles. But remember, sodium has a coefficient of two that we can't ignore, so we have to put that in here. And now we'll get the moles of that, which we can write down: zero point zero zero nine two seven moles. Sulfate, we do the same thing here. There's no coefficient. Uh, if you wanted, you could write a 1, but you don't have to. And uh, again, the concentration, since it's the same solution, is going to be the same. And the volume will also be the same. So here, this is moles per liter, so the liters will cancel out. And uh, we're going to get 0 0.004635 moles. And now the same thing for chloride using the second equation here again coefficient of one don't have to worry about that uh, this time we're going to be using a different concentration however we're going to be using the concentration of the second solution which is 0 0.200 molar and that's times that volume which was 0 0.0356 liters and uh, so that gives you 0 0.00712 moles now the last step for, for finding the new molarity of the ions in the, in the new solution is to use the same formula, uh, but this time using this guy here. And so we're going to be using the total volume, however, uh, of the new formula of the new solution, which is going to be these two volumes added together. So V total equals 0 0.05. 0, 06 meters. All right, and so I'm gonna slide this like this and uh, push this up a little. And so, using the moles that we found, the moles of each solution of each ion, sorry, uh, we can find the new concentration. So concentration is going to be, so let's do one for sodium, again, sulfate, and chloride. And uh, so we're going to get sodium's moles, which was 0 0.00927, 0 0.00927 moles divided by the total volume, 0 0.0506 liters. And that's going to give you the concentration of 0 0.18 three molars. And the same thing for the rest of them. 0 0.00435 for 635 mole per 0 0.000. .00. There you go. So that is how you would calculate multiple ion concentrations in a dilution. Hope it was useful. See you next time.